G'day mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I need to talk about how DreamHack was cancelled this weekend, meaning we've had more tournaments cancelled so far this season than have actually gone ahead. I want to talk about the update that came out overnight that have seen three items vaulted from competitive completely and how this is going to change the meta because these were three, especially two of them, really powerful items. Also, at the end of today's video, I want to finish off with a fun one. It's a clip I found of Kami, Seti, and Teak pulling off what might be the most ridiculous high ground retake I've ever seen, but one one that actually could become meta. I could see a lot of people doing this with the right loadout. Remember guys, if you want to support me, you're loving the daily uploads, please use code Aussie in the Fortnite item shop and click that big subscribe button down below. Thank you so much. Some of you guys may have already heard or seen this, but I want to talk about why DreamHack this weekend had to be cancelled and whether it's going to see the Cash Cups cancelled today as well. So DreamHack Fortnite tweeted out, due to tournament integrity concerns, this weekend's DreamHack Open featuring Fortnite will be rescheduled to a later date in May. I mean, we're only halfway through April. I guess this is because they didn't want to take place next weekend, which is the first weekend of FNCS. At a later date, we'll provide you more information about the rescheduling of the tournament. Thanks for understanding. Now, a lot of people in the comments were obviously super upset. A lot of people were understandable because when you figure out why this was actually rescheduled, it makes perfect sense. Basically, if you didn't see it, a few people made tweets about it. One of the main ones was our EU coach Boop. He made a tweet showing that you could actually duplicate any throwable item right now. So you could duplicate Slurpfish, Floppers, Peppers, Minis, Big Pots, you can't run a tournament with that in the game. Boop even tweeting out that people are sending him death threats for exposing this. Like, again, guys, come on. We got to be better than this as a community. The tournament could not have ran. If no one somehow exposed this and somehow the tournament ran and no one realized, it's still going to be people getting first place consistently sitting in storm because there was just no way to beat it whatsoever. Now, the only issue is we haven't heard whether there's a fix yet. Fortnite never actually made a statement about the exploit. They never mentioned it. I haven't been able to find anywhere any kind of word of whether it's going to be fixed for the cash cups. Now, as of me recording this video, the OC and Middle East cash cups haven't happened yet. For you guys in EU and NA, you'll know whether the tournament's going to run if those cash cups run. So once I wake up tomorrow morning, or if you guys want to watch, I'll post on my Twitter whether the OC cash cup runs. I'm sure if it runs, NA East and EU will, but it's looking like a good chance they might have to all be cancelled. That's pretty much what everyone in the community is assuming is going to happen here. One bit of info we did get from Fortnite was Fortnite status tweeted out some huge changes to the meta. So they said, boom, bo, bye bye. We've made the decision to remove the following items from competitive playlists, rocket launchers, cuttlefish, and mechanical explosive bow. Now, this has kind of been met with mixed responses. A lot of people are really, really happy. The RPG was super, super broken for taking high ground. It was really insane, especially for those drop spots that had multiple of the bunker chests, like Steamy or any of those drops, because there was a good chance they were getting them pretty consistently. And if you had the RPG, we know how free that is for taking high ground or holding high ground or just a very, very strong item. There was only a few of them in the game, so not a lot of people were talking about just how strong they were. But really, if you wanted to consistently take and hold high ground, you really needed to try and go to a drop that at least gave you this RPG. Sometimes the mechanical explosive bow. This one, I actually think based on the comments, a lot of people read this as the mechanical bow. As I talked about in yesterday's video, the mechanical bow and its variants now do two 212 headshots that included the mechanical explosive bow so i think a lot of people just saw mechanical and bow and thought okay you've made it too strong for 212 headshots it's out of competitive no the mechanical bow is still there you can still 212 headshot people it's just the mechanical explosive bow that isn't and for me I don't think that's that big of a deal. So before when mechanical bows didn't do 212 headshots, the mechanical explosive bow was insane because you'd hit someone in the head for like, I think it was like 170 something and the bombs would drop out and that usually killed them. So it was one of the only ways to one shot people with a bow. But the actual explosive aspect of the bow isn't that strong. Like it's annoying, don't get me wrong. It's really loud and it's very irritating if a team's just shooting mechanical bows at you, but it only does like 10 damage to builds. You can can just like repair it faster than it breaks. It doesn't take that many material. I would say the stink bow is far, far more obnoxious and competitive than the explosive bow. So I don't think this was that big of a deal. And the cuttlefish, they've been useless since the start of the season when they were absolutely broken. Once they got nerfed, you can use them for like some kind of cool exploits and maybe someone would have got a cheeky kill in a cash cup, but it wouldn't have been like a game changing, uh, game breaking change. The biggest one's definitely the rocket launcher here. I do 
kind of honestly want to see the stink bow at this point maybe vaulted itself in competitive I, I know it's not a big radius but especially when someone's beneath the box shooting at the floors you can do some serious damage and especially end game they're really really good for zoning which you know is a strategy don't get me wrong but it's also a bit obnoxious when you are on low ground and there's two teams above you just stinking everything around you and there's no counterplay that's why the stinks have never really been most people's favorite item because it's just not fun to verse it's not even that fun to use and there's just no real counterplay it doesn't take that much skill you just throw them and people take damage and if you're in a box you can't outbox it you can't out aim it you can't there's no mechanical skill that can outdo stinks so i would have rather seen this probably be a vaulting of the stink bow more than the mechanical explosive bow but still it's it's good to see that this close to fncs epic is still trying to make changes with the update that i talked about yesterday other than the one shot bow headshot it was ultimately a pretty well received buff all around people like that game change so i'm hoping we can maybe see a few more of these adjustments before we hit fncs next weekend like I said, I wanted to finish off the video with a little bit of a fun one. Let me show you how Kami, Seti, and Teak managed to take high ground in an insanely stacked game today. This high ground retake, I'm sure other people have done it, but there's just something so satisfying and so clean about it. Now, I'm not going to try and say you're often going to see a team with three double barrels because that's what that was. If you didn't notice, that was three players using double barrels to take height. But one player having a double barrel, obviously, without the RPG to knock it out still is a really solid strategy for taking height endgame. It's kind of like a bounce pad, but there's two of them and it's way less expected because no one is expecting someone to have a double barrel and then use it from second height to take high ground. And with Kami, Seti, and Teak split, you can get the double barrel pretty damn consistently as well. Well, it's not that hard to get. How they got three of them, I'm not entirely sure, but I still thought I'd throw this in there because I thought it was a fun clip and kind of want to add that a little bit more in here. There's a lot of doom and gloom around Fortnite competitive right now, and I do want to celebrate some of the more fun moments, and I'm, I'm going to find some different ways to put that in my videos, I promise. I don't want to sound like we're just constantly complaining and it's always issues. I still do want to add some fun in there. All right, guys, that does it for another video. I really hope the Cash Cups run. If they do, I will be doing a viewing party on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash LZAntics. Come by, say good day. I'd really appreciate it. If you liked today's video, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this new game change update. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.